Hi everyone, I'm Sam Kim. In the previous video, I showed you how to get the Winwasson statistic and QQ plot to check whether residuals satisfy independency and normality. In this video, I would like to show you how we can get various residuals to detect outliers or influence of each observation. Shall we start? I will use the same data which I used in the previous video. Once you activate Broom library, if you run augment function with regcells.fit, you can see these metrics. I will focus on these four columns which are boxed with red color in terms of residuals. I copied this raw data uh, into here. And uh, let's get a uh, hat matrix. So these are hat matrix, and I showed you how to get hat matrix in the previous video. So we want to extract these diagonal elements. Uh, so we can consider lookup function, right? So we look up and ID and choose your reference data here. And the uh, first row, uh, diagonal elements located in second column and third column and fourth column. So we need to consider uh, adding uh, one, right? So plus one and comma and first. Uh, of course, we need to fix uh, reference data here, right? So you need to uh, press F4 and double click it. Right, so this is hand matrix. 315. So 315, 189. Yeah, 189. Cool. So let's move on uh, quickly first. So I searched uh, Google website. I think this um, Dennis Cook, uh, he, he developed uh, Cooksley. And yeah, this is uh, his picture. And this is the uh, Cook's D. So we can use uh, this formula to get uh, Cook's D uh, for each uh, observation. So let's calculate uh, EI square is uh, residual and square and over P number of uh, parameters. So two multiplied by uh, MSC, press F4 and close the form and multiply by uh, el uh, diagonal elements of hat matrix HII so this one right so over 1 minus HII 1 minus HII and square and close the form all right so uh, 0 0.105 yeah, uh, 105, 026, 026, 108, 109, yeah, 108, uh, 770, yeah, 770. So, uh, yeah, we got, uh, we got uh, Cook's distance, Cook's D, right? So Cook's D is generally used to detect outliers in standard uh, whereas regression, right? And um, uh, let's calculate uh, standardized residual here, right? So again, uh, I will show you again how we uh, calculated uh, this standardized uh, residual. So, yeah, th this is a standardized residual. In R, if you use R standard function, uh, then you can get a stu a standardized residual here. So. Let's get uh, EI is residual and over SQRT and MSE uh, here. Press F4 and multiply by 1 minus HI. Uh, this one. Right. So uh, 676, 676. Minus uh, 472, uh, 472, right? Hmm. And 
that's sigma so show you let me show you yeah so that sigma means uh, residual standard deviation after deleting uh, observed value in uh, i's case uh, so it means that uh, to, to get sigma that sigma for <coughs> first observation sorry here so we need to uh, yeah, uh, delete or we didn't we do not include this observation in a regression model then we can get this dot sigma i will show you how to get uh, this dot sigma right now right so So uh, let's say delete. So we may delete first observation and second observation and third observation, right? So I will make a simple uh, regression model uh, after deleting a specific uh, observation. So we need uh, a little bit uh, uh, advanced uh, Excel technique. So let me show you. So, mm, okay. We want to, uh, so for example, we want to exclude uh, first uh, observation. So it means that we need, we need only uh, from second row to last row, right? So if ID number is equal to this one, then we need to uh, improve, uh, increase by one, right? And if not, then we need to uh, start from uh, previous number. So this one uh, plus one. So okay. For example, I will set it uh, as zero. And yeah, we need uh, how many columns? Yeah, uh, 11, 11 columns because. We are not going to use all data. We exclude one uh, observation. So let's uh, uh, check whether it works or not. So if I type in at two, so it starts there. Yeah. So it excludes uh, two, right? And three, right? And like five, yeah. So one, two, three, four. Uh, there's no fifth observation and six, seven, right? Okay. Then let's get. Uh, y value and x value so again so if we look up one comma so we can get uh, y, uh, y values from here so press f4 and comma so y value uh, is uh, is located in second column from uh, first column right so two comma and first and let's apply it uh, other cells we don't need a uh, last one okay for uh, x we look up comma again this one press f4 and comma three comma and first all right so uh, we got a y value a y variable and x variable so we need to uh, calculate uh, residual, right? So uh, residual can uh, we can get residual uh, from y minus y hat. So uh, let's say residual uh, from y minus. Uh, y hat is uh, intercept mm -hmm. y value comma and x value uh, plus and slope y value comma and x value and multiply by a closed form and multiply by x all right and close the form yeah 
yeah so this is the residual once we delete any specific uh, observation all right so uh, in order to get dot sigma we need to calculate a uh, residual square and, and over uh, uh, n minus 2 so n is number of operation n minus n number of parameters and of course uh, we need to square it so uh, let's get the sigma here so firstly uh, uh, we need to sum up uh, of uh, residual square so sum and sum sq sum sq uh, will calculate residual square here right so uh, this formula will uh, uh, square uh, each residual and sum, uh, sum up uh, uh, every element, right? And then we need to divide it by uh, n minus 2. So there are 11 because we uh, deleted, uh, we do not consider a specific observation. So uh, 11 minus 2 means uh, 2, uh, 9, sorry. Right? And we need to uh, square root square t uh, square root it right cool so this is um, uh, dot sigma for uh, each uh, residual right? for each observation so so we once we delete a uh, fifth observation so this one is uh, this one so if you uh, delete the first observation so dot sigma is this one And for uh, second observation, and this one. And for third observation, and this one. And fourth observation, this one. So we can get uh, the rest of uh, uh, dot sigma, okay, by uh, changing uh, this cell. So 3.948, yeah, 3.948, uh, 4377, uh, four, uh, four, yeah, 3.996, three, uh, 3.996, and 3.77, 3.77. And the uh, first one, uh, 4.019 so first one is uh, yeah 4.019 right all right the the uh, the last one is a uh, studentized residual uh, which uh, is not covered uh, in the first uh, column Right, so uh, we can uh, get studentized residual. So uh, sometimes referred to uh, uh, externally studentized uh, residual or uh, deleted residual. Right. So uh, I think this formula is more useful to get studentized residual. Right. So I'm going to use this one. So in this case, uh, we need to uh, allocate k as one. Uh, so so let's. Uh, get a uh, studentized residual here so ri is uh, standardized residual and multiply by square root and m minus k minus 1 so there are 12 uh, observations 12 minus 1 minus 2 means 9 right 9 over so uh, 12 minus 1 minus 1 means 10 10 minus oh, sorry then minus uh, standard residual and square. Right. So as you can see, so in R, if you use uh, R student function, you can get this yeah result. 
so we can get yeah, same as student ties retreater here all right so in this video uh, i showed you uh, four specific uh, columns uh, related to retreater and uh, lastly i also covered uh, student ties retreaters so this um, data this output uh, related to retreater is helpful to uh, detect outliers and also uh, check the influence of each observation right so I hope you study how to understand how to uh, read this result uh, by yourself and also uh, I hope uh, this video is helpful for you to understand how we get uh, head uh, elements and dot sigma and Cook's D and standardized rigid ear and studentized rigid ear. Please uh, click like and subscribe uh, if you uh, think it was very helpful and um, to motivate me uh, to upload more useful videos in the future. Thank you.